hello guys uh welcome back to another tutorial on clue 3d and in this tutorial we're going to be creating this particular animation you can see right now on your um screen but before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more um video so let's um begin so um the first thing you need to do is to make sure your t-shirt is placed on your screen then what we need to do next is to delete this um avatar so i'll be deleting this avatar on screen right now so i deleted using um backspace i'm coming let me make this tick okay so um the next thing i'll do is um to use this uh, full 3d garment tool so i'll select this so when i select this um, what i'll do next is to select this um rotate x axis and which will allow this particular t-shirt to be placed um closer to the ground so i'll select this so uh, i'll scroll back a bit so let me scroll forward you can see right now so um this um, neck angle is um facing um, upward so we need it we need it um to face um downward so what we need to do is to select this um flip horizontally you get so when i flip it yes it's going to face um downward so um we don't need this optimizing um resolution of the garment it's fine like this then the next thing we need to do is to set physical properties for spreading because we want to make sure this um t-shirt spread properly um on the ground surface so i'm going to select this so after um selecting this the next thing i'll do is to um simulate but there will be a moment where i'm going to pause the um simulation so that i can bring my anger in between the um uh, i can place my anger um around the um, neck so but then let us um click on spacebar to simulate so as you can um see right now you can see that the neck um yeah is already um touching the ground so i think this is the right time for us to place our anger um at the neck so um i'll just pause this the pause the render so when i pause the render i will um select this then i'll go to my anger then yes anger let me change this then select this uh, metal anger i have here you can use any anger you have in your um on your clo 3d so i'll be dragging this downward just make sure you switch to this because if you are on this uh full 3d garment you might not be able to see the gizmo mode to adjust or to change the position of the anger so um let's do that yes so let's bring it forward let me scroll closer so let me just look at this yeah let me just drag it backward a bit um okay still showing here so okay uh let's have it so um so when we are done with positioning our anger so what i'll do is to go back to this um full 3d garment and then continue the simulation because um the simulation can take up to 10 or 20 minutes depending on the specs of your system it takes a long time for the um t-shirt to finally relax on the um ground so it might take up to 10 to 20 minutes so you have to like be patient with this um process so i'll continue from there so let me just click on my space bar to continue the um simulation so um now that our um t-shirt has finally relaxed um on the ground a bit i think this is better you can see this is better so i will just um, stop this um, simulation by selecting my space bar so we'll move to the um, next agenda so um what we'll do next is to use this select this icon so this icon is set physical property for folding so i'm going to select this then this is turned off this is turned on now because we want to fold our clothes so i'm going to select this fold not this fold so this fold allows you to um fold um multiple um patterns you get why this fold allows you to fold um, just a single pattern now so um though i've already created a tutorial on how to um, fold your clothes which 
we will explain better but then let me just drop a breakdown so when i select this you will see something like place and uh, please select pattern to fold and press enter so i'm going to select the pattern i want to fold then i select enter then i'll just create a line here across the end double click so when i double click it's just going to fold this pattern on top it won't fold the one below you can see this is it so it won't fold the one below so uh, let me just select um ctrl z so undo is not working so i'll probably switch back to this um, move icon and then i'll undo so finally after um three or four undos then it's back to its normal position um let's go back again to the full three ligament so i'll be using um this this um fold instead so when i select that this is what i'll do next i'll fold the um arm first this arm side so i'm going to select this and select um this double click you get make sure you double click then let me select this red you get yes i can just rotate it a bit okay let me just select this it's because of the kind of fiber that's why it's looking um, transparent so i'll select this 3d render yes so that we can see properly so i'm going to do for this other side too so i'll just select this and um select this outside yes double click so when the gizmo icon is out then you just rotate it inward yes yes so uh i think we are um let me do it a bit yes okay so what you need to do next is just select spacebar for this to uh, relax so spacebar so let's see this uh yes so um this is not bad because this is not our final um, result so um what you do next is to um stop the simulation then this is where we begin the whole folding uh, process so i'm coming let me just set my um so i'm going to select this and um coming double click let me do it it's not straight enough so i'll do it again so i'll select this coming and uh, yeah sorry you know my mouse is a bit yes so i'm going to fold like this yeah this is fine come in space bar let's relax so i'll just stop the simulation again i'll keep folding just keep doing the fold keep let me just make it bigger so i can do better so yes um space bar so just keep doing this repeatedly i'll be skipping this process to make this um thing um, faster
so um right now we are good to go so i'm going to um stop this simulation So when you are done arranging your um anger um, inside your t-shirt because the one i did before my system is quite laggy wide screen recording so this might not be the fold might not be too perfect but then i will hope that you will do better than um, this coming yeah this is the one i did before which is better than this one i'm using for my um, tutorial as you can see right now this is one i did on my own so but let's move on so um you can bring in your graphics i don't know how you want to how you plan on designing your t-shirt or anything you want to use so let's assume i want to use this let me put it on 300 so you can see it you can see so just place it here so i'll scale it i'm coming let me just scale it a bit yeah this is fine so um we are almost at the end of the tutorial so what you just do right now is to go to animation make sure you're in um simulation quality animation stable this five step and what you just do next is just to record and while recording this um clothes will roll down by itself so let's do that and i'll skip this um, process so that i can show you the um, final result so i am um, done with the recording as you can see our um, t-shirt is done unfolding so what i'll do right now is to play this for you so you can see this so let me just play you can see so this is it so this is how i created that particular um, animation so you can decide on how you want to um render it you can decide to render it on flow 3d or you can just go to um blender export it to blender and use it for whatever you want to use it for on um blender you get so this is just how to create the animation don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification um, bell and also um anticipate these two tutorials that will be coming up um soon uh, one is this particular um, type of mock-up animation and the other one is the um is how to fold your t-shirts on um clo 3d